what is good nation it's stock j back with another video and in this one i'm going to be talking about the one and only amc stock which you should be looking after for the future i'm also going to be talking about this 475 percent cost to borrow for amc that was reported on ortex i know there was lots of uh, talk about this yesterday but i actually want to break down my opinions my thoughts on this i'm also going to talk about the data and the price action of amc and what this means for the company going forward and the potential squeeze now before i break anything down about amc before i talk about the cost to borrow i do have to mention a couple of things real quick firstly i'm not a financial planner don't take any of this as financial advice and also if you guys can please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this and not only benefits me but the entire ape community as a whole and the last things if you guys can please check out the mumu link down below and in the description if you sign up for mumu with the link down below and deposit a hundred dollars into the account you're guaranteed up to 10 free stocks each worth up to two thousand five hundred dollars and the best part is out of the 10 free stocks five are going to come from the wheel right here this means that you could get five free tesla shares five free amc shares five free apple shares or a mix of all of these it's a limited time offer the offer ends in just one week check it out before they run out with that out of the way let's get on with the video so at the time i'm recording this which is about uh 13 minutes before the market closes i want to talk about amc and something very interesting that's going on so before I actually do any technical analysis, there's been a lot of talk about this whole Ortex data thing, and this is what Ortex actually tweeted, and many people that were looking at Ortex saw something absolutely insane, and that is, yes, AMC's cost to borrow, max, appears to have spiked from 24.58% to 475.7% a little while ago. A few things to remember, though, is a stock loan for one share can theoretically set the cost to borrow max slash min, which is why the cost to borrow average is very important. The cost to borrow average for AMC is much lower at 16.47%, right? And I think there is some more replies right here. Ortex stated that stock loans can subsequently uh, be canceled or closed or unfulfilled. If this occurs, that cost to borrow data point is removed, right? And they're open, the lending markets are open 24-7, even if the US markets are closed. So I want to actually now break this down, okay? What does this actually mean? Well, this person right here, the boss blunts, actually mentioned something that's actually true. And I actually agree with this point here. One share at that cost to borrow is proof of the desperation. He is correct about that, right? Even if it is one share, that just shows the crazy desperation. But I want to remind you that there's a clear distinction between the average cost to borrow and the max cost to borrow. We don't know exactly how many people were borrowing, you know, AMC for this maximum price. We don't know, you know, how many times this is going to happen again, because right now it appears this was not a glitch. Now, could the data be manipulated? Sure. But to, in my opinion, this isn't just some sort of fake number. Someone most likely borrowed an AMC share with such a high price. And it doesn't make sense for the fee to be that expensive when you have other people loaning out all these fake shares for like a 16 percent fee so maybe the data is just manipulated in a way where they make it seem like they have all this firepower when they actually don't and some short sellers not all of them are really really desperate so that was a good point brought up by the boss blunts and i also want to add something else to it so when you look at the amount of shares available to borrow currently it's at seven hundred thousand, and they were just printing out tons and tons of these fake shares that they could essentially use to short amc now i don't see any gamma potential right now but i am seeing the same old dirty tactics over and over again and because they're borrowing all these shares to bring amc down the overall cost of borrow is starting to drop again so if you look at the ortex data let me show you the ortex data real quick we could see looking at the cost to borrow Currently, it's at like 16.27% is the average, right? If I actually go this way, we could see the max is at 17.61%, so it did end up going down. The average is a little lower at 15.45%. The min, whoops, sorry, let me keep this here. The minimum is still at 12.51%. So lots and lots of manipulation trying to bring it down. But at the end of the day, all you're doing is kicking a can down the road as long as we don't sell and give up. Now, because they keep doing this, Something that does not make sense, though, is the short interest is starting to go down. And it doesn't make sense for that to be reported because you have to consider the fact that shorts 
haven't covered that many of their shares. They're not covering to the degree people think. Every day, a couple of shares will be covered and a couple of new short positions are created. But I, I, I just don't think this data makes any sense because the share price has been dropping yet. I mean, short interest drops too with it. it. It just doesn't make any sense. The data is just crazy. I do believe the true short interest, if you don't account for the manipulation, I mean, if you do account for it and all these things going on, it could be much higher. I'm talking about 50, 60, 1,000%, a, a very, very high numbers like that. So I borrow desk is showing something else very consistent with what Ortex is showing. Lots of shares are available and the fee is now going down as well because they're just suppressing it over again. But overall, we're still near the highest we've seen the cost to borrow since before the May run up. I'm sorry, the, the June run up of 2021. So that still is a good sign. So I really hope this keeps up. I do think eventually some good things will come. Now, from a technical aspect, things are becoming very interesting, okay? Let me actually zoom in and show you something cool. Actually, let me start off with this, then I'm going to show you something cool. So I'm, I've am i been talking about how the moves AMC is making tend to be very similar to the moves the pattern AMC followed before the big run-up back in June of 2021. I'm not going to go into the full details, but I want to talk about something else. So when I talked about, this is basically the pattern before the big run-up right here where my cursor is. So all the way here, AMC goes up to like 72 bucks. But before we started that, we had this pattern which we've been following. And I've theorized that we might be like in this state right here. See how we had the nice spike to the 0.236 retracement zone right here from a Fibonacci perspective. Then we dropped down to around that 0.618. Now, the thing is, no two runups are going to have the exact same pattern. If we look at this in real time, once this loads, you'll notice we had a nice push up to the 0.236. See, look at this. 0.236 is where we ran up to back then before we got a rejection, then a big push up forming this cup. And then right here, we, we ran up, we touched the 0.236. Now we're dropping down to the 0.618. So before we, we should have gotten a bounce around the 0.618 or kind of held that level. What's crazy about this is where is the 0.618? It's at $12.16, give or take maybe a few cents off. Where did AMC bounce today? We actually happened to hold exactly $12.16. So I know it's a little hard to see. See the tiny number right here? I can actually pull up the five-minute chart to show you. So far, we're holding the $12.16 range. We bounced exactly where this line was that I drew out yesterday. So the real question is, are we ready to just bounce or could we continue to drop a little bit further? And there is something I want to show you. Let me pull up the 30-minute candles right here so what what essentially happens is amc could also form a double bottom here so our double bottom could even bring us down to eleven dollars and 44 cents we don't have to follow this exactly perfectly because you'll notice we do have a slight double bottom here as well so to me personally okay obviously the 0.618 zone is kind of like a demand zone amc could go a little lower to around the 11s okay 11.8 11 11.44 we need to see a bounce right there we need to see amc hold this range for the next couple of days we need to see that and then we need to get a bounce from that cup that i was talking about the cup which would be from like right here a nice cup taking us back to 16. so i want to see this thing bounce off 11.4 around there around that range that would be very healthy and the lowest we could possibly go which wouldn't wouldn't be good would be maybe 11.1 but i really hope we get a bounce around there maybe earlier and once we get a bounce we got to start that curl start that nice 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 reversal and that should form the cup if it does that that's going to be fantastic that would be a very keen indication this thing is going to explode but if it doesn't do that, if it drops below 11, then the theory is kind of out of the water. That's not supposed to happen. I just want to prepare you for that. What's interesting is today we had a red day. The market was red for a good chunk of time. I, I think near the end, the spy is getting closer to like breaking even or being green. AMC, however, 
I mean, it's only down like 1.4%, 1.5%. And I theorize it might be because we're very close to that demand zone, that area where we're supposed to bounce according to the algos. If the algos can't keep uh, $12.16, if they can't keep that up, it could go as low as 11.44 and still be fine. Uh, we need to see a bounce. We need to see it hold this range. We need to see it trade sideways for a few days. If it does that, it's still following this pattern then we should get a nice reversal relatively soon. So that's just what I'm theorizing, right? I can't promise that I'm going to be correct. But overall, still following the pattern. It's still looking pretty strong. So the last thing to really do in this video, let me actually close this Fibonacci retracement. Let's just look at the Bollinger Bands, all right? Because what you're noticing is the volatility is just dying in AMC. AMC is not as volatile as before. And you could see that before any major run-up, we see the bands get really tight, right? Like right here, they were tight, they expanded. They got really tight right here, then they expanded. Right here, they got kind of tight, and we got a slight expansion. And right here, they're still very tight. This means that we, we're going to break out in either direction. We might just crash back down, or we might explode all the way to, on the way up and right now i mean we're already so low I, I just think it's very very unlikely we end up dropping down during the expansion it seems more likely we're set for a big run how soon i can't determine that perfectly i did estimate around before the end of august but i mean these people could try to drag this out for longer but at the end of the day the data points at the same thing this thing looks really bullish, and I do think it's very likely before August ends, we might see that big run-up, some very, very massive moves, as long as we continue to follow the pattern that I was talking about. So far, we're following it to a T. But that's out of the way. Thank you for listening. For AMC, what should you expect for tomorrow and the remainder of the week? That's basically just sideways action. Remember, 11.44 is a key zone. I want to see AMC bounce off that. At the lowest, maybe the low 11s, but we need to... We can't break below 11. If we do, that's not going to be good. And so far, we're holding up pretty strongly. So I hope this thing trades sideways for some time and starts to see a reversal. That's going to be a good sign once the time is right. We aren't necessarily there yet. Give it time. And with that out of the way, thank you for listening. So please have a good day. AMC is doing fine. Be patient. And I will see you guys in the next one. AMC to the moon. And peace out.